Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and today we're going to talk about an app for Windows 8.1 that might help you go through your file system and it's called Metro Commander. It comes in two versions, a free version that lets you do pretty much everything but has limitations and a paid version. So um, go into your Microsoft Store and on the upper right side just type Metro Commander and you'll see the icon. There's Metro Commander and Metro Commander Pro. The Pro version is uh, $3.99 while the Metro Commander standard is free. Uh, for a lot of people the Metro Commander free is probably enough for what they want to do but if you need more power um, the Metro Commander Pro will actually let you do more. It's $7.99, so it's a little expensive, but it's a cool Metro app that actually lets you see your file system and move files around. So once it's installed, you've got that Metro tile, Metro Commander tile. You just click on it. If you don't see it, click the little arrow at the bottom of your screen on the left side and find it in the list of apps that are installed. So Metro Commander is that little icon and here you see the different folders, the different places and you can go to different folders in areas in your computer. So you can click on a folder and say well I want to browse my C drive. I'll go on the upper left side and it's going to ask me what do you want to see on that C drive and you can just click with uh, where you want to go. So the C drive here for example now it does not let you see all files. It has options that lets you see only certain type of files. Uh, pictures, documents, executable files, different folders that might be there. Um, the pro version will show you more files of course. Of course you've got settings where you can customize the preferences of your app. So you see here that you've got the remove ads for $3.99 you have the unpacker for $3.99 which is basically an unzip and um, if you have different uh, uh, RAR files or um, different types of compressed files you'll have the unpacker that you can add and you've got NKV. NKV is a high definition video format support also. And uh, of course it has a classic view, you can buy, buy views. So there's a lot of things you can buy, there's a lot of in-app purchases in this thing. But it's pretty cool because basically what you do is you can add drives, add folders. You can click for example different folders that you want to see. So if I uh, click uh, my pictures folder at the top, I can then go into uh, my C drive, I can browse different folders for documents for example. There you'll see all your folders in your documents. You can actually go through these folders and check your different files, go through them. You can check them um, and basically move them around and um, of course you can slide from one side to the other. So if you want to uh, send some files from a place to another you can slide them in some uh, sometimes from one place to the other. Um, of course Pro version 7.99. The biggest problem I see with this and I mean for browsing your files in your computer I think it's okay and for a lot of people this might be enough. But because of its limited functions when you are in the unpaid version um, power users will probably not find it that interesting and frankly if you have to buy the pro version at $7.99 don't forget that in your computer you've got the file uh, system, the file explorer that pretty much is a good, pretty good file explorer that has all of what you need most of the time. But if you're looking for a metro app and uh, you know, a way to stay in your Metro app um, style look. Well, Metro Commander is there for that. And so depending on what you click, you'll see the different pictures or etc. Um, it has a lot of limitations like the Dropbox at $3.99. So if you want to send files to Dropbox and add this capability, that's another $3.99. There's 
too many capabilities. I would say that there's just too many um, possibilities that you need to pay for it to be totally cool. But for a basic just file explorer, if you want, all you have to do is, you know, just go around and you can move around your different uh, folders. So if I go here and I, mean, I want to go to the music folder instead or whatever, and you have possibility of having different folders side by side, that's quite interesting also and um, lets you, you know, move around. So you see at the bottom you have rename, copy, move, delete. You do whatever you want. You can create new files and folders. So uh, depending on what you want to do, if it's just moving the files around and seeing your regular folders and files, uh, I think it's a, an interesting app and it's free. But if it requires more than that, uh, then of course you'll need to buy the pro version and add some functions to it. And you can actually, you know, get this thing become quite expensive uh, because you have to add all sorts of uh, functions to it. So um, if you're looking for a basic Metro app that can go through your files, I think it's okay. If you want to do more than that, I think you should stick with the File Explorer. Um, I think that $7.99 is a little steep for such a capability, um, unfortunately. So this is the app view or review of the week, Metro Commander, available for a free for the basic version in the Microsoft Store and for $7.99 on the uh, Pro version for the Microsoft Store. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe to our channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments or questions on what you've seen, let us know. And maybe you have an app, maybe you have a question, something you'd like us to make a video of, let us know. We'll try to put that video online and um, you'll be helping others at the same time and hopefully you enjoy our videos and uh, we'll come back to the official Windows 8 channel. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye.